You know, Jim and Dave, we're sitting here on this bench, and we all got 1911s in our holsters. They're all Nighthawks. Maybe three of the best 1911s you can buy. But, uh, you know, when you meet a gun guy, it's common to ask him, say, hey, well, what are you carrying? Yeah, yeah, and, and the answer you get is, well, I've got this Rimchester with a target match barrel and a, a underlug and this custom grips, and they go Yeah, and they'll even tell you what ammo they're carrying. Oh, my like God, the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you bet. The, whatever's the latest and greatest. What I like to do is, uh, when I'm visiting with somebody like that, I, I like to tell it, say to them, I said, don't tell me what you're carrying. Show me what you can do with it. That's the critical thing. That's the important part, absolutely. Yeah. And, and you see what people can do with guns here at Gunsight. Oh, yeah, we get to see everything. All kinds of things come through here. Um, so I've got a really good handle on what works and, and what might not. And as Jim said, the gun being reliable is the most important part. That it fits their hand and it's reliable. And it's properly maintained. Properly maintained, absolutely. It hasn't been modified by somebody who's unqualified who perhaps to do that modification or not overly modified. That's typically we see problems when somebody's had too much work done on their gun or particularly if that work was done by somebody who's maybe not as, as good at it as... Like as working in his mom's basement or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and you know, and that's a temptation too because we, you, we look at uh, the Brownells catalog and there are all sorts of really neat accessories that uh, could be attached to my 1911. Mm -hmm. Some I may need, some I may think I need, some I really don't need. But probably the biggest mistake is if I buy those parts, make that thing all by myself and make that thing run. Two mistakes I see, thinking that you can do that work yourself, not being a qualified gunsmith, or thinking that a part is going to make you a better shooter. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe, maybe the answer ought to be when the guy says, what you carry? And you ought to say, I'm carrying a gun that works every time I pull it out, whether it's a a 1911, a Nighthawk, or God forbid, a Glock. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. It's got to work. We're talking to personal protection, defensive shooting. It's got to work.